recording again and this time we're going to do example two a roof has a cross section <clears throat> that is a right triangle the diagram shows the approximate dimensions of this cross section find the height h of the roof okay we can see <clears throat> one big triangle and it's a right triangle and this is the altitude. The height is the altitude. They went from angle S and then went straight down at the hypotenuse at a right angle. Now we have this little triangle, which is similar to this other big triangle, which are both similar to the grand triangle. Okay, let me annotate. Let me do my best to not take forever here. Let's redraw those three triangles and let's uh, uh, make them all facing the same way. So it's just, you know, just nice for us to, <clears throat> I'm not gonna do everything perfect here. So there's that triangle. And then we got this other big triangle. And oh, I gotta move this picture here. There we go. And we have a little bit bigger triangle. Okay. All right. And we've got a right angle, a right angle. This would be so much faster if I had a whiteboard. And I can use my hands and use markers, but whatever. We don't have that. Okay, so the little, this length here, if I'm looking at this try, oh, I guess I should label my, my angles here. So I'm gonna try to use my finger here. We got S, W, and this is R, okay? Now, we have to make sure we label all of these different vertices correctly. So the second triangle is this medium one. The right angle is at the W, W. And then the long, tall, straight up part is T. Okay, so we went straight up. And the hypotenuse coming back to this little one, hypotenuse coming back to the little one is S. So this is S. Now the big triangle, its right angle is right here. It's at S. T and then R. Okay, we have them labeled. They're, we got it set up. Now we can mark what we know. We know that this length, RS, RS is 25 feet. 25 feet. And the hypotenuse of the large triangle, this whole long side right here, is 65 feet. 65 feet. And we have the hypotenuse of the medium triangle, ST, ST, and that's 60 degrees. I'm sorry, I should have done these in different colors. Not 60 degrees, 60 feet. Okay. We need to find H, the height, which is SW. That's the one we need to find. I'm going to circle that one so we can see it better. I should have done it in different colors. We have to, oh, and we also know if, well, if ST is 60 degrees, here's ST here. So that's 60 feet. I keep saying degrees. I'm sorry. It's 60 feet. Okay. So we have to do is Find the altitude, H, and we need to set up some ratios to compare from one triangle with the other. You can do this with similar triangles. Um, so we need to set up our equation. Let's say, let me change my color. Okay. We're looking at SW right here. SW, SW over RS. RS. Okay, 
It's the ratio. We're going to set that equal to the ratio of the triangle that is similar to it. And you can set them equal to each other because they're similar. All right, so SW is this up and down line here. Well, which triangle has a, a length to it on the up and down part? TW? No, it does not. ST? Sure does. So we're going to call it ST over, and then we define the one that matches with RS, which is RT. There is the beginning of my equation. Now I have to plug and check. So I'm going to substitute, okay? We're using the substitute property. I'm going to substitute SW is H, RS, whoa, what happened to my screen? RS is 25. Oh, come on, what's going on? Say it equal to ST, which is 60. And RT is 65. We have our ratio. Now we're going to multiply uh, each side by 25 because we need to get H all by itself. If I multiply, um, let me use a different color. If I multiply this by 25, oh, that was way off. Sorry, I'm gonna rewrite that. Multiply it by 25, and we're going to multiply this side by 25. Okay. The 25 here will cancel, so you're left with H. Now we're doing 60 times 25. I'm going to get my calculator. 60 times 25 equals 1,500. Divide it by 65, and I get... 23.08. I'm going to round it. Um, you know what? Let's round it to the nearest tenth. It doesn't say, but let's just round it to the nearest tenth. That would be better. So it's 23.1. And you can't forget to write feet. You must write feet or else your answer will be wrong. All right. So our height is 23.1 feet. That's how you do it, guys. That is how you use similar triangles. Uh, stop sharing and say goodbye. Bye.